Okay, everyone, we're back and uh, we're starting painting now. So make these panels look nice. Paint's arrived, as you can see. Some aircraft grey military paint. That was deal. You see, look at that. Quite nice. Looks quite horrible on the camera, actually, but actually, it's quite nice. Look at that. Right. Get more of the paint now. It's starting to look good. I haven't got very far. It's taking a while to paint this. Coming on nice though. Right, so all the paint all the painting's now finished. Looks quite nice now. All being painted in aircraft grey paint. So uh that's what the panels look like now. Still waiting for it to dry. Uh, battery twelve point five volts. As you can see, uh the disconnected regulator it is connected but it's uh, disconnected from the wall if you know what I mean. All painted. And if you do want to buy this paint, it is aircraft very military paint, metal steel. Heat resistant mat, about £13.50 a tin. There we are. You can see a lot nicer. I'll be doing some more videos soon on batteries as well. And uh, oh, it's broken in the batteries and a bit of a clean up. Um, I'll show you the battery video soon. We've got the battery, up, battery maintenance, and ventilation. And it's windy today, very, very windy. No sun though. So there we have it. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I'm just fixing the panels to the wall now. Uh, the painting's all complete. I'll fix them all back to the wall. Get all the uh, bits uh, fixed back onto it. As you see, still got to do that panel and that panel. One down, two to go. We're running on inverter power at the moment. As you can see, that's the isolator for inverter. And if we look over here, you can see, gone. And we're pulling roughly 10 amps off the battery bank. So, one down, three to go. Okay, so the panels are all done. Uh, all the equipment's now fixed back to it. Just switched on the charger to took the batteries off. There we have it. Charger. We need to switch back on. It's all being painted. It's all screwed back. And I've installed the uh, the socket and the commando socket as well on the right hand side. Maybe I forgot them. There we have it. Charge controller is now being properly installed. Let's see what we're putting in. Battery is at 13 one. The sun keeps going in and out all the time. So yeah, and these these panels aren't very good in the air cloud. So looking a lot. Matter. So yeah, we're doing a little bit of grid charging just to top the batteries off. And the inverter's all back installed. And the socket's wide okay, according to the nipple test meter.
So now all I've got to do now is try and source some brighter bulbs. These um these bulbs, these energy saving ones I've got off eBay. I bought them for about two pounds each. And the they look quite bright on the camera, but they're not very bright in reality. They're not as bright as these halogens. There's a halogen. I get to near twenty five watt halogen. So I'm gonna see if I can get some of the warm white um LED bulbs. So yeah. Top tip really is um paint your panels, get all your equipment fixed back to it and uh should be weatherproofed for another couple of years. And also make sure you've got some energy efficient lights as well. LED, uh warm white LEDs will be they look virtually the same to halogens. You've got the same amount of light, looks exactly the same. So uh worth investing in, but you only get about four for twenty pounds. So about five pounds a bulb. So there we have it.